Hey guys, this just in. There is big news from Honda about the Goldwing for 2023. Let's take a look at it, shall we? You know, there's this old phrase that goes, there's nothing new under the sun. Well, today, September 22nd, 2022, Honda put out a press release regarding the Goldwing Tour, the Goldwing Tour DCT, the Goldwing Tour Airbag DCT, and the Goldwing DCT. Well, you know, Renee, I got to say that looking at the press release, looking at these images and such, everything looks exactly the same. Yeah, I mean, we'll get into the website here in a minute, but uh, you know what? You're right with that call. It's just like, it seems like the only thing that seems majorly different are the colors, but the colors aren't that different. We're going back to where we were, I think, like I'd say, even in like 2021 with our candy ardent red and our black, as they're calling it, even though I guess that it's like sort of a graphite gray matte mixed with a shiny black. I think we should have always have just stayed there and they should have offer just two colors for what was that three or four years you could only get black and white right but you know what everyone really seemed to appreciate bringing the blue back as last do year. i as <laughs> do i we wanted to get that in 21 and couldn't we couldn't Ooh, there's a difference look they're giving us a little bit of brown trim on the uh engine there Ooh, quick let's trade in our bike <laughs> That's the thing. I don't think there's going to be much happening in the 23s to make folks who maybe have an 18 plus gold wing want to trade in and upgrade because it really is a lateral move, if you ask me. I agree. So to quote the press release, they're saying the liquid cooled horizontally opposed six cylinder engine has a low center of gravity, minimal vibration and quiet running. It's available in a six speed manual transmission or with the highly advanced seven speed automatic dual clutch transmission. The engine offers an impressive performance and magic carpet ride experience for which the Goldwing is known. But you know what? You're already preaching to the Goldwing choir. We know all of this. So there doesn't seem to be anything new under the sun here, but they are highlighting fuel efficiency where they say that they've got 22% more fuel efficiency than the previous generation. I mean, some of the specs that I'm seeing here are quoting up to 42 miles per gallon. Now, of course, this your mileage may vary, right? I mean, depending on if you're riding single, two up, your weight, are you carrying a load with you? How do you ride? So yeah, I mean, that is sort of wishful, perfect world thinking. And we don't mean to dissuade any new potential riders from a 2023 Goldwing. I mean, they are awesome. Goldwings are awesome. And just like their website touts, right? The gold standard of touring bikes. They really, really are. That's why we ended up getting one as well. But... Hey guys, leave a comment if you're expecting a little more, uh, more changes, more goodies, things like that. Another speculative thing was the idea of bringing aboard the radar adaptive cruise control by 2023, but that is certainly not happening by 23. Can we look forward to it in 24 or 25? I mean, we've talked about it before in other videos. We've seen this with other blogs, other vloggers. So we've seen the patent drawings, but we haven't seen it out in the line yet. So the press release went on to talk about, you know, um, uh, having the four ride modes that we're familiar with, Econ and Tour and Rain and that super fast sport mode. You know, they talked a bit about um, having the Honda selectable torque control, the HSTC system to manage rear wheel slippage. Um, you know, the, uh, the old favorites are still here, the Hill Assist, the walking mode. You know, we've got keyless, you know, um, fobs. There are uh, tire pressure monitoring systems that give you real-time status of your tire pressure. So, you know, all four trim models have that as well. So again, is this a case of something old being new again? Or is this the case of something old being, well, old again? <laughs> I hate to sound so jaded, but I think so many of us were looking forward to something new and exciting in 2023. But, you know, when you're coming up on a 50 year anniversary of a flagship model like the Goldwing, a lot of us can have high expectations. So if we've missed anything, if you've heard anything different about the release on the 2023, leave a comment. Let us know. We're always eager to learn from you as well. Okay, well, we'll catch you next time and look forward to that 2023.
2023 coming out. Bye-bye. <laughs>